start this off, I picked up, uh, we got one, two, three, four, North, Ontario Northland boxcars. Um, three from Atlas and one from Hobby Quality. So, and after these ones are a lot bigger, the Atlas ones are pretty nice. So. So these ones are all the same, except the only difference is uh, I have different road numbers, 7700, there. there you go, 7700, 7755, and 7708. All right, so let's pull one out and take a quick look at it. So these three from the Atlas are all brand new. Um, this one from Hobby Quality is, I don't think it's brand new, I think it's used, so, but. Let's check it out. Do the unboxing. Take it out of the jewel case. So, got some spare parts here. Looks like it's for the couplers. Over here at the couplers. So, and we take out the top one. And then the protective plastic. There it is. This is number 77,000. Really nice. I'm really liking the whole detail. Good job on the painting. You can see up over here. It's actually really good detail for end scale. Not too bad. Uh, there's no bleeding on the paint. Let's see if I can get really good job with the writing. Holy Mac. This is like super small. Metal wheels. Uh, whatever couplers they use. Let's find that out. Accumate couplers. Look at that etched metal. I don't know if it's metal or not, but etched lockways. Really nice details on both ends. So that's that one. And then here's the hobby quality. Sort of looks like an older style uh, boxcar. So very simple. Huge flanges on these wheels. Massive. It's okay. What's nice is that the door's open. Good job on the painting as well. All right, so let's see what else we got from the hobby shop. All right, so I also got the Bachman's uh, catalog. But Tim, why did you get Bachman? The reason why I got the Bachman catalog is only like half decent stuff, trains and boxcars. So and I have quite a few box or not boxcars, but quite a few train cars from Bachman. So this is uh, 2017, so I know it's a little bit late in the year, but that's all good. Also a lot of scenery stuff. So, then after what I do is let's see if we can find end scale. The, box, uh, the cars that I have, I, I highlight them. So, there's one there Toronto, Hamilton, Buffalo. And also, I have like a good 95% of all the green cars. There's a couple of them that I'm missing, which I think are these ones. And then the same thing with some of the trains. And then I also picked up this incline decline starter set. Uh, picked up the wrong one. This is for the, what's it called? The Helix. Um, I thought it was gonna be a 2% and quickly realized when I got this home and I started doing my measurements for the Helix that uh, yeah, it's gonna be a 4%. So, might have to change or return this. Just do a swap out. So. All right, so that's it. Oh, uh, I also got I also grabbed uh, rail joiners. Where's my finger? I also grabbed rail joiners so I can uh, finish up. That's lifting. Finish up the, the the inner inner track here. I also picked up some more insulators, and um, yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of a run by over here with the, the what's it called? With the North Ontario box cars. Oh, one more thing I wanna show you guys, which is really cool. This is something that I'm gonna start bringing with me to the, to the train shows. Okay, for you guys, so you guys know what I'm uh, filming with. If you look at my previous uh, videos, I did an upgrade, or sorry, a firmware update for my T5i. I, I, I switched between cameras to uh, record. I use my T5i to do some videos. I also use my phone, which I'm recording on my iPhone right now, my iPhone 6. And then I also use my mini Sony action cam. This thing is friggin' awesome, I love it. So I took an old Bachman car <clears throat> and uh, Drilled out the hole through the steel steel frame or steel chassis, whatever's inside. Uh, grinded uh, everything out, and uh, so I made a little carrier for my Sony Mini Action Cam. So when I go out to the sh train shows, uh, I can ask these, I can ask the the guys if I can do a little bit of a run through on uh, the layout with this. So it's really cool. Just screws in. All right, so there it is. It's mounted in there pretty good. See? won't fall out and uh, yeah so I upgraded the Bachman uh, wheels here to the steel wheels so that way you can have a smoother ride but uh, yeah friggin I'm excited about using this all right so that's it for now I am starting on my helix so I'm just gonna give you guys a sneak peek about this um, yeah so did my lines try to do a cutout quickly realized that I need to take this section out of here to continue cutting everything. Um, I think while this is apart, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pull out this layout, put some uh, like a board behind it so that way I can put uh, pictures of a backdrop and the same thing on this side. So I'll make a little bit, look a little bit easier. I, I thought of that, I was like, damn, you know what? I should have done that, but I already had the layout in. So I was kind of bummed out. And then uh, when I figured out that I had to take this section out to do the helix, I was like, okay, you know what? This is my chance to do do it right here with the back with the backdrop. My next couple of up update videos won't exactly be updates of the layout. It'll be more of like uh, the helix type of thing. I'm also gonna do, uh, like a little shelf there for the ecos to sit on properly uh, so yeah so i'm gonna do the helix then i'm gonna do the staging yard underneath here and uh start tidying it up and like i said i'm gonna do a backdrop there um, probably get some masonite board i think it's called so it's all right all right guys thanks for watching and as usual keep on modeling